What's up guys, Maritime Spook here, and uh, I just got something super awesome to show you. Um, this is the Battle Horse Knives Chris Kane Survival Knife. Um, I want to get into a bit of who Chris is because he's a very interesting fella, and I have learned a wealth of information from Mr. Kane. Um, he's a survival instructor from the United Kingdom. Um, he's been teaching in the U.S., and hopefully someday he comes and teaches here in Canada. And uh, just an, a wealth of knowledge. No nonsense, guys. He's not a bushcraft uh, teacher or anything like that. He's a survival instructor, you know, right from the get-go. Uh, his father was SAS um, and took him, took Chris out since he was like seven and just taught him, you know, navigation, escape and evasion, food, edible plants, um, you know, just the stuff that he was learning in the SAS, he started teaching his son. Um, so when Chris got to be sort of getting out of school age there, he took all that stuff that he learned from his father and he went out on the road. Um, basically, guys, there's, it's a subculture that was in England and even in the States, really. Just he traveling all along and, uh, you know, just with a tarp, um, you know, a basher over your head, like a, a fly over your head, a bivy, a sleeping bag, you know, a pot to cook your food in, and a, a good knife. And maybe a couple other little tools, and then away you go. And traveled. He stayed places like Dartmoor, Exmoor, Cornwall. Um, this place is in Dartmoor, guys, where you can just be walking along and then drop into a crevice, and then your buddy's walking along in front of you and look back, and he doesn't even know where you went. And uh, that's the kind of place Chris was living. Uh, when he was living there, he used to go and offer services to uh, tourists who were coming through the area, so they didn't get lost in there and fall into a hole, like I just said. Uh, they would get Chris to take them out, show them the ropes of you know what they needed to know about where they were and how to get back, and you know just show them you know be their kind of safety tour guide so they didn't get themselves hurt um, so from that moving on to different places he did that uh, early 90s through his father he met uh, John Lofty Wiseman who basically if you've ever read any survival manuals from the SAS he probably wrote them or he was a guy they asked about before they wrote them um, so him and Chris started a school years back and uh, you know that um, he probably redefined a lot of skills from Lofty and then he's moved on since. Now he's working with Battle Horse. He's going to be doing courses down that way through Battle Horse, I believe, in Ohio. And this is his uh, one of his knives, his survival knife. Um, we're going to do a couple little tasks with it, guys, and then we'll get back and talk with you. Just an introduction to this knife. Uh, I'm going to carry it, uh, you know, as much as I can to give you the best estimation. Already, guys, I love it. It's the mutts nuts, as Chris would say, and uh, I just really like it. So we'll just do a couple little tasks with you, with it, guys, and uh, go from there. Uh, first off, too, guys, this is a beautiful sheath by Dave Corona at Battle Horse. It's a dangler. I've said it before, guys. I'm a big fella. That dangler, it gets uh, where it needs to be. I have no trouble uh, taking the sheath in and, you know, taking the knife in and out of the sheath, um, riding up on my clothes, anything. So, I, you know, I've grown to love these danglers. So they make a very awesome dangler. It fits a large ferrocium rod. I'm sure they maybe can make it smaller, but for me, the larger ones are the way to go. They're just a lot easier to use, and uh, that fits in there absolutely perfect. But I'm going to use it in a second, so I might as well take it out. But it does fit perfect. So we'll take that out, guys, and uh, get a little bit of Maya dust going here and show you how there's the beautiful knife. It's rounded here, but it has a 90 degree to spine here. And we'll get to that in a second why that is. Coffee cup out of the way here, guys. So, like I said, who Chris was uh, in the 90s, too, he uh, went back out, was doing his tour guide thing. And uh, he's been on television. He's taught umpteen dozen people and probably saved a lot of lives in a couple schools that he's ran on his own. But now, like I said, he's uh, gone across the pond to the U.S., had some of his knives made. Um, he has a couple awesome other tools coming out, guys, that are already out that for purchase or pre-order, I believe. Uh, his uh, survival tool, the Chris Kane survival tool by Battle Horse, and also the Chris Kane companion. And he actually even has another knife that's called the Evolution. That's a, you know, another a more bushcraft knife. This is more his survival knife, I guess. Um, so there you go, guys. We got some beautiful Maya, Maya dust here using that 90 degree portion of the spine. And uh, to show you how good this ferro rod, where that 90 degree spine meets up, how good it strikes the ferro rod. Now normally um, on the ground, I would pull the, pull that away, and that's even something Chris teaches. But where I'm on here and showing it to you guys, I just sort of struck it down. 
but that's why that is guys that's a 90 degree spine as a right there and then it goes into a rounded spine and that's for so you could use it as a draw knife and also for batoning um, I don't really have any hard wood here with me but the stuff you get the picture uh, because of that it goes right through stuff very easy on that rounded part no problem at all on that Show you a few feathers. This knife is super, super sharp too. Full flat grind. Bead blasted 01 tool steel and bead blasted micarta uh, handle scales and fish eye pins. Beautiful pins right there, guys. Uh, Chris uh, was also said in a few videos, guys, that he is, does not do fancy feather sticks. Well, Chris, I do. <laughs> and this thing, that your knife does it awesome. I'm a fancy uh, feather stick kind of guy. And uh, this knife is beautiful for doing feather sticks, I'll tell you that right now. Some little curly cues there. This thing is a notching beast. You can notch these curls out. Get in there and uh, cut yourself out a little spot. Clean that up. And uh, cut yourself out a little spot. And get in there with that rounded portion and notch that out like a dream, guys. Get in there and cut that, turn it over with that huge belly that it's got there. Get in and cut that even deeper in. Clean out your notch. And away you go. So just a couple tasks with it, guys. It's just the first video. I'm going to be carrying it more. Uh, there's a pack influence there by Mr. Kane that I'm going to get into in another video of how I basically packed it off of his video. So thank you very much to Dan Coppins, Master uh, Bladesmith down there, guys. Um, Ashley, Alicia, uh, Dave, Corona, Bear, all the guys down there. Anybody I missed, I'm sorry, but uh, you guys do a heck of a job. Just a couple little things I want to show you. Uh, another Battle Horse sticker that I was sent. And a sticker from uh, for the back of your truck. And this really, really cool pin that they also sent. So anyway, guys, Maritime Spook signing out. Just uh, absolutely immaculate knife by Battle Horse. Check one of these out on battlehorseknives.com. And uh, they're just a heck of a knife. So, anyway, guys, uh, take her easy. Um, like I said, check out Chris Kane's uh, videos on there, guys. He's one of the premier uh, survival instructors I've ever seen. And uh, he knows how to design a knife because this thing is awesome. So, we'll get more out on it as we as time goes on. So, I want to show it to you really quick. And it's a heck of a knife. So, anyway, guys, take her easy.